We're getting ready to fire up the car now. Uh, when we do that, we put the batteries in and and uh, hook it up and start calibrating it. The wheels are going to turn. So um, I had actually two of these brass standoffs left over, and uh, so. I took the nuts off from the brass standoffs here, put the, put the standoffs on the other standoffs, and then put the nuts on here. So that will at least get the rear wheels off the ground. And then I'm just going to use a simple old block of wood to set the front part of the car on. So I'm going to put the batteries in. and set the car up on its pedestal so that we can begin to test it. Love the little uh, straps to remove the batteries. You can see how I've got the straps underneath the batteries so that'll make it so much more easier and safer to take the batteries out. One thing that uh, Yeah, one thing that I kind of had wish, wished uh, Sunfounder had done is put in a on-off switch because you'll definitely have times when you just want to switch the car off and uh, that's probably going to be done by just pulling this connector most of the time. Um, so I'm going to pull this connector. I'm going to take this one out and put this one into the Raspberry Pi and we're going to go off battery power for now. Okay, you can see now that the wheels are off the ground and we're ready to turn the system on using battery power. And then what we'll do is we'll start up the server on the Raspberry Pi and try to connect to it and run the calibration routines. Alright, plugging in battery power for the first time. And she's booting. You can see now we have a lot of lights on over here. Um, we have a blue light that is now on on the motor controller board. Uh, so everything is powered up and nothing's smoking. That's a good sign. I'm going to go up here to the terminal button if you can see it there behind my broken monitor. <clears throat> and we are going to go to the SunFounder directory. CD Sun oops Sun tab serve tab. Okay that's where we want to be sudo python kali tab okay now the server is running on the pi it's ready to accept commands from the client and we're going to go to the laptop now and get the client running <coughs> 